People are worried about the squat and the deadlift damaging the low back because it's under a load. All right, if we, we want a more horizontal back angle to squat more effectively, and we have to have a horizontal back angle to pick the barbell up off of the floor, and we're telling you that it's a strength exercise, and everybody in the medical community is telling you to keep your back vertical, well, what we're telling you is to strengthen the muscles that stabilize your spine, and they're telling you to avoid using the muscles that stabilize your spine. Now, this doesn't make any sense, all right? If we, what is better, a strong back or a weak back? Well, I would maintain that a strong back is better. So how do you get your back strong? Well, you load the back progressively, just like you load everything else to get it strong. You use an exercise form that produces the necessity to maintain a stable spine. So you find a light weight where you can keep your back stable with your hips back, your eyeballs on the floor, and you do the squat correctly with a more horizontal back angle, and then you go up five pounds, and then you go up five pounds, and you go up five more pounds, and you keep doing that till you can't do it anymore. And in the process of doing that, what have you done? You've strengthened the muscles that keep your spine stable. Now, this is commonly referred to as the core. In, in modern, uh, in the modern, uh, what as you call it, uh, the fitness industry, the, the, it's the fitness industry calls it the core. And I hear people saying the core because they're just parroting what they've heard. I don't ever use the word core without putting scare quotes around it like you just heard me do, okay? If your back is strong enough, your back muscles and all of the abdominal muscles and all the muscles on either side and the floor of the pelvis, all the muscles that stabilize the spine, is strong enough to deadlift 500 pounds, then, my friend, you have a strong core. 